hole. There, I got him. All right, just got a real big one. All right, cool. <laughs> he bit the, 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 tit, the Ned rig. All right, I sent down a, a Ned rig jig head, quarter ounce. Um, or probably eighth ounce with the um, Z-Man tails. Um, I have the package in here. I'll pull it out Real nice big one. Cool. No fish Nick here. It's February 9th we me and my nephew Jakester and My brother-in-law Roy uh, we're packing up the quick run to uh, Sturgeon Bay, which is a couple of two and a half hour drive, but uh, we're gonna go uh, hopefully uh, Bang out a bunch of white fish and come back home just on a day trip, uh, we got up extra early, and we're gonna give her hell. Got the motor all set up. This thing's really nice. It's got heat. The whole works. He rigged up his own heater in here. It didn't come with it, so it's aftermarket. Got my shack. Roy boys and Jakesters. So we're all set. Met up with my good buddy Big T. Big T. Gonna Get catch, on the road. Yeah, I'm gonna catch some white fish today. Yeah. The goal is all of us to have our limit by noon. Yeah. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. I get my limit, I'm out of here. Yeah. I'm trying to go try to beat that snow. Yeah, that's what they said. A couple inches of snow today, so we're gonna try to get her done. Roy boy is gonna get her done. Alright, nephew Jakester, time to go. I got the Kubota. It's nice in here. Okay, we're out on the reef getting all set up. It's snowing pretty good a couple miles out We're out here. It's 50 feet deep We're on the drop off of the reef I drilled a couple holes all right, I'm gonna be setting up my aqua view and my little live well the fish well this is the fish well hole. Here's the fish well. Hopefully we'll be using it soon. Just gonna shove it down there. A little frozen, but there we go. It's just down in there. There's a lot of fish around. I'm not even set up yet. I still gotta. I still have to go around and uh, and and put snow around my shack. But I already have fish all over down there. Uh, I don't have the recorder set up yet. But uh, man, I do like the spot. There's definitely fish here, and it looks like if I find the right bait, we're gonna we're gonna kick some tail. So I just gotta get set up. It's hard to set up when you're seeing all these fished. Here comes one right now. Yeah, he's checking it out, but three of them just came in. So they're definitely down there. I had one on. He nailed the slider rig and I tried to turn the camera on and I lost them. So that's kind of sucked. Okay guys, sorry but uh, I messed up my HDMI cable. So I can't get, I can't do the underwater views today. I'm sorry. Well, actually, I do have my little aqua view. I could change out to my little aqua view, which sucks because this big one's in HD. So, but I messed up my cable and I'm not gonna be able to give you the HD footage of underwater view, but I will send down my my little um my mini aqua view and if i have enough cable on it oh it'll be close i don't know we're gonna find out how much cables on that little aqua view just got one on the slider hook 
We'll see what we can do. My hole's kind of close to the edge of my shack. That was not real smart. Uh, I got some grabbers. Get my grabbers ready. Once we get them up in that hole, I'll grab them with the grabbers. Okay, he's in the hole. Got him. All right. Uh, that one's not the biggest, but it's the first, so I'm gonna keep him. He's it's an eater size. Probably about 15 inches. And he took the slider. I'm gonna gill him up and get my little fish will. Down he goes. Okay. Alright, now I gotta find my there it is, the towel. <laughs> Alright. Gotta catch another. One down, nine to go. We're shooting for a limit today. Although eight is plenty. But we will go for ten if if they're coming in easy. Okay, that guy was just on this little slider. I just have a little swivel here. Got my puppet minnow with uh, two wax worms on the back hook. And the slider, all I do is put it on there. Just hooked one time. So it gives a little flopping motion. And let's try that. Down it goes. I'm gonna try to get one more with this camera and then I'll switch out to the little camera. There's two down there right now. Not sure if you can see it. Probably not. The screen's probably too bright for the GoPro. That guy was tracking it. Oh yeah, look at that. Got him. That was easy enough. He watched it fall down and he Hit the slider rig. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay. I'll get him up in the hole again. We got like 20 inches of ice. Oh, nice one. Grab him with the grabbers. And slide him across. Okay. Okay, he's off the slider. I'm gonna gill him. Okay, and down into the into the bag. Jake's dirt. Hey, I got one checking it out right now. Oh yeah. Yeah. But I can't record off this camera because uh, I, I messed up my HDMI cable. Uh -huh. So I'm going to have to try it on my little camera. But I'm not sure if I have enough cable on that little camera. We're going to find out. But uh, I just cut two in a row. Bam, bam. Hmm. Yep. Same jig you gave me or different? Uh, I'm using the puppet middle on the bottom. Okay. And then, but they're they're biting the, the slider. Like here comes one. Uh -huh. Oh, he's in the background. Yep. He was right there. But there, there's a lot of fish around. You know. Look at here comes one. See them all in that corner? Mm -hmm. Okay, here comes one. Yeah, this one looks the closer one. That's pretty aggressive. Nope. Nope, going right by it. But uh, that's right. I mean, you get so many to go by, but then you'll get one that, one that eats you up. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, they really like when it when it, you drop it down. Lift it and drop. Yeah, and then they they really come in after it. Like here, you see one in the background coming. He's scoping it out. Oh, he's following it right Yeah. Now. So if you if you want to bring fish in, raise it up, and then drop it down. And it really brings them in. Okay, I got one coming. Ooh, look Ooh, at that. That's nice, too. Yep. 
Oh, he oh it. man. He's turning around. He's coming back. Ready? Nope. Oh. Oh, he got, got him really he, active, he got, got excited though. Yep. Nope, not oh. You keep pulling it out. I know. <laughs> okay, ready? Not yet. He's a, that one kind of looks small though. Oh, that fish is a fish. Yeah. No, he, he gave up on it. Nope. But if you want to bring him in, bring it way up high and drop it down. Yeah, you sure see a lot of fish. Yeah. He came right into the bottom there. Mm hmm. There's a lot around. Okay, I just I just set up the little camera. I saw one. The picture's not as good on this little camera. There's one. Got him. Okay. Little guy came in and hit the slider rig. The slider rig is definitely the ticket today. But uh, yeah, the big camera had a much better view. Um, it did better job at uh using the light down there this little camera um i had to move it actually to a hole closer than where i had the big camera okay there's a little guy we're gonna let him go there we go cool boy that slider rig's hot today and i do have a little split shot couple inches above it's just a hook on the line slides back and forth between the swivel and I put this little uh, tiny split shot on there just to keep it from traveling up the line too far I'm using like uh, I think I have four pound test on here uh, it's a, just a monofilament nothing fancy and but it's working that that slider rigs working okay couple other uh, rods I wanted to try some other baits but right now that slider rig's just killing it you know and if it's working why change it up other than to learn you know so I might do it just to try to learn something different I'm checking it out they're active I'm gonna get one here Oh, got him. Oh, I missed him. What the hell? I had him. He got off. Okay, the current keeps changing. This, uh, this little camera is definitely influenced by that uh, current. I'm having a heck of a time keeping my bait in view. Right now I have it, but a couple minutes ago... I couldn't get I couldn't get it in view at all. I might try one of the other baits just to see. Okay, first up this is a Northland Mimic Minnow. Uh, I cut off the tail, the paddle part. I was gonna try this, see if this can generate any activity. I'm having a really hard time getting uh, my camera. I might have to drill some extra holes out here outside if I want to use my camera because I can't get it to stay in place. Okay, fish on. <clears throat> it was not on camera. It feels like it hit the slider rig. I was marking it. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. This is an ultralight rod. I'm going to keep it slow and steady. I'm, I've missed more than I caught today. I'll shut the heater off. Try to keep me out of trouble. Okay. Feels like a big one. Oh, it's caught in the hole. There, I got him. All right. Just got a real big one. All right, cool. <laughs> he, he bit the the, the, t the Ned rig. All right. I sent down a, a Ned rig jig head, quarter ounce, um, or probably eighth ounce with the um, Z-Man tails. Um, I have the package in here, I'll pull it out. Real nice big one. Cool. I 
haven't put one in there in a while. It froze up on me. In there. There we go. Cool. A Z man. Trick shot Z. Pump green pumpkin goby. On a uh on one of them flat headed jigs. I believe this is an eighth or eighth or quarter ounce. Probably eighth. Um yep. And that big old slob of a whitefish grabbed her. Okay. <clears throat> I just had a hit I missed them. I was letting it just sit on bottom. It's getting a little little jigs. And uh he hit it and I set the hook but I missed him. There, that time I got him. Cool. Ooh, feels like another good one. Awesome. Yeah, feels real good. If this is on that Z-Man <coughs> plastics again, that'll be pretty darn cool. I'm gonna have to go tell the boys. Just kind of working on the bottom, imitating what a goby would be doing. And this feels like another dandy. Shut off the heater. This is my ultralight rod. Oh yeah, it is on a Z-Man again. Holy smokers. Ugh. Another jumbo. <laughs> All right. All right, another jumbo. Sweet. I'm gonna get a picture of this guy. Jeffrey. Got like four. I just got this one. This is the second big one. Yeah, I just got it. I was talking to my old buddy Jeff. One of the guys that actually gave me my nickname. Him and uh, my friend Kevin Cluck. Gave me my nickname, No Fish Nick. We used to uh, work together at a manufacturing plant. We made uh, nursing home uh, uh, equipment and beds and furnishings and uh, we used uh, two-way radios to talk back and forth I was I'm a, I'm a supervisor and uh, Jeff and uh, was the lead and Kevin Cluck was the maintenance guy and we'd all talk back and forth oh another jumbo look at that monsterino <laughs> all right they're just loving that thing anyway back to my story um, we used two-way radios at work, and I came, I went to work one uh, one day. We worked second shift, and in the morning I was on the Wisconsin River, and I got skunked, and and I yeah I didn't even get a bite. And I came to work, and I was complaining about how, how uh, I didn't even get a bite. And normally we catch a ton on the Wisconsin River, and uh, those guys started calling me No Fish Nick over the two-way radios. That's how I got my last. My, my nickname, No Fish Nick. So, all right. Nice one. Sweet. Okay, she's really snowing out. But uh, but I'm in here catching those big ones. There's three in a row that I caught all on that bottom jig on that uh, trick shot. That's a heck of a, my new favorite bait, Z-Man. Trick shot Z, green pumpkin goby. It works. Pound bottom, and let it just sit down there and twitch. Let's see if you'll suck it in. Oop. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Got him. Got him. <laughs> All right. And uh, I really think this. Uh, this Z-Man bait is helping out a lot. He's definitely getting the big ones. Freaking, there we go. 
that slider hook that slider hook's becoming a problem because it's, it's catching on the bottom of the ice but look at that look at that z-man bait holy cow that is awesome i'm not tipping it or anything Red boy's got a nice little pile going jakester uh I'll go check on him in a minute what's happening Roy boy so you got a nice little pile going. Yeah. Did you get anything going on that uh, trick shot yet? Nothing. No. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Jakester's got a 20 incher over here. Nice. In here listening to music. Ooh, look at them all. Okay, Jakester's about to get one. There you go, Jake. All right. <laughs> took a while. Right? Yeah, it took a little bit, but you got him. Sweet. Transducers out of the way. He's hitting the hole. Ooh, another nice jumbo. Good job, Jakester. Oh, yeah, hopefully you can get a few more. Oh yeah, you will. There, you got them down there like cordwood. Just keep doing what you're doing, and you'll get them. All right, good job. My other GoPro died, so I'm using this one now. So you're gonna get a different, different view today. Got him. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. Oh yeah, another jumbo. Got him. <laughs> jumbo. Yeah, they're definitely liking that. A trick shot. Cool. Thank you, Z-Man. That thing definitely works. What is the tenth? That was a ninth. Maybe it is a tenth. Okay. All right. This is fun. I gotta have six, and four of them are nice, nice big ones. Okay, here comes another. We got one coming in. That one looking at my at the floater rig. Got him on the slider. Rig. Got him on the slider. Oh, it's not as big as that last one. Oh, there's a monster down there now. But cool. If I can get this one in, try to get it back down for that monster that's swimming around. Okay, drop the heater. This rod's a little <laughs> lightweight for these big fish, but that's right. Alright, cool. Easy. It was not a it was not a good bite until I found these uh until I tried this rig. Okay, here comes one. Hard to see with them zebra muscles in the way. Okay, he's back. Looks like a good one too. Oop. Got him. <laughs> he came around and he hit it. I got, got a magnum on. Yep. He, <laughs> he missed it the first time. He came back around and got it the second time. That was awesome. Don't get caught in the hole. Oh man, they get caught. Okay. Oh, another magnum. Holy smokes. What a nice fish. 
Hmm. Another magnum. Hit <coughs> it. Oh, Aquaview's done. This ended up using up all the battery. Okay, back to watching my rod tip. There we go. See my rod tip, like loosen up. <laughs> Those are big ones down there, so this guy's gonna be big. Man, fighting hard. Holy smokes. This is the biggest one yet, I think. Holy magnum. Whew. This is nice. Nice big ones. They bite that. They're hitting that trick shot. Pound bottom. Make a little dust cloud. Okay, there's fish around. I can see on the hummingbird. Just let it sit on bottom. Give me a rod tip to move. I only need like one more, and I should have my limit. Okay, just had one grab it, grab the bottom rig. I'm almost positive the way he hit. It should be on the bottom rig. Ooh, she's really pulling hard. Yeah, this is gonna be a big one. Boy, yeah, try to loosen up my drag a little. There we go. This is a big one. Where he's gonna break my line. This is this is gonna be my biggest for sure. Put on the hat camera. I'll tighten up the drag a little bit. I think there's only three pound test on this rod. If that, it might be two. Oh, this is my ultralight. I think it's two. comes camera cord we have to hand line them from here uh oh there he is who get his head in there oh magnum <laughs> there is a magnum look at he had that that Ned rig in his face. This guy is a tank. <laughs> that's my biggest for sure today. And that's my final. That's my tenth one. So I'm done. That's it. Sweet. What a way to end her. <laughs> 20. 20 hancher. Okay, cool. Nice one. Alright, I'm going to line these guys up for a picture.